My name is Emily Moore and I am a porter, just recently become a relief supervisor. Well, I originally wanted to join the fire service and I gave that a few attempts of trying to get into the fire service, um, but I didn't really have a lot of experience um, with that sort of side of things. Uh, so I thought, I'll see what the hostel has to offer. And I saw a portering job was on there, so I read into a porter's job a bit more because I didn't actually know what it was all about. And um, found out that it was probably a good fit for me because it's quite an active job. Um, so I, I joined up and I've actually got a lot of experience that if I was to go for the fire service again when they recruit, I've got a lot more experience to be able to talk to them about. I think I have mentally matured a bit more because of the job you have to be quite professional, you, it can get quite serious, so you have to pick your moments really and I, I think where I came from hospitality you, you don't have to really be that professional behind a bar, you can have a laugh and a joke but here you really understand that professionalism is a good thing to have. Yeah I remember my first day because I walked a lot. <laughs> I remember it was quite tiring um, but I, I was so excited to go around and sort of, I, I knew what the job was about because I, I read about it but I was excited to actually go out there and start doing the job and going around and just seeing what all the wards were like, it was exciting. It's mainly like taking people from their ward to x-ray or taking them back from x-ray ultrasound, things like that, back to their wards, it's mainly that but we do also have um, the helicopter that comes in. Um, so if you get given a radio that day, you get to go up to the helicopter, take the patient off the helicopter down into resus or something like that, and that was quite exciting. Um, but we also do take um, patients from the ward down to the mortuary, or we also do something simple like gas runs. I like to think the portering office is like the small cogs in the big machine. So without us in there pushing all the little, all the bigger cogs it wouldn't work we we are we take everyone from where they need to be to where they need to go and without that the hospital just wouldn't work i attended a allyship course which was about a three hour course um and it sort of goes through how how everyone can be nicer almost <laughs> how you can get on with your colleagues better how you can get on with patients better and it's it's really like a, a good eye opener to sort of see how you can just develop your skill of communicating with uh, your colleagues and patients better to perform better in your job yeah um the first time i went up to the helicopter i was i was quite nervous for it because i didn't quite know what to expect um but my colleague that was with me, calmed me, talked me through it. I knew that no matter what, I had him there, so he'd be able to take over if I couldn't do it. So it's a teamwork, I guess. Well, I've been here for just under a year and I've just been promoted to a relief supervisor already, and that's great. Um, so I hope to keep going and maybe go to a full-time supervisor. I would 100% recommend it because it's not just one job in the healthcare service, there is so many opportunities for you, so many avenues. You could start off as a porter and then go off in your own route, your own desired route. There's no stopping you really.